the English Riviera. We've got sun, sand, sea, ice cream. What else? Entertainment. Two, three. By the sea, by the sea, by the beautiful sea. It's like stepping back a hundred years when Pero troops like this were in the peak at around 500 groups performing to holidaymakers all around the coast of Britain. Why did the starfish blush? Oh, I don't know. Why did the starfish blush? Because it saw the ocean's bottom. <laughs> the Pero's popularity dwindled when the package holiday started in the 1950s. Now that staycations are on the up again, the University of Exeter has a project to see if they can revive the pointy hats with pom-poms. I met up with Tony Liddington, who runs the last Pierrot Troop in Britain, and we decided to put together a project to investigate what the Pierrot Troops had been doing in the past and to see whether it was possible to resurrect the form today for the modern British resort. But does it really translate to today's society? Oh, I think it could be, yes. I mean, we've been working on some jokes that are a bit old and, well, we don't really find them funny anymore, but if we find new jokes that work in the old form, then maybe it could work for a new audience. Zafira Lynn can make a comeback at her age. I think this type of thing is missed. People, it was good at the time, and I think it's still good now. Oh, yes, take us back many years. <laughs> yes, lovely. Rather suggestive now and again. <laughs> Experiment seems to be working, so we could be seeing more Pyro clowns around the Southwest resorts. Johnny Rutherford, BBC Spotlight, Torquay.